Okay, this is one about amp meters. I've had a request for them, so I'm going to actually do a quick bit on amp meters. The one on the top, I actually is my first amp meter. It's a 10 amp, and I, that was quite adequate for what I wanted. Uh, but after a little while, I moved on to a 30 amp meter because I thought I'd better have something a bit bigger. Okay, uh, I'm now actually currently on a 60 amp, and um, mine's putting out some power at the minute. I'm getting about I don't know, 10 of 10 or 15 amps out of it at the moment. But there is something you need to understand about amp meters, okay? All the amp meters around, all of them, if I can show you the backs of these, they're all the same, okay? And the one on the top is the same as the one on the bottom and the same everything. You may notice from the bottom one, there's some melting on the 30 amp one. Now that's because up to 30 amps. Or, or near enough, you don't actually need what they call a shunt. Okay, uh, a low powered amp meter will quite handle it, the movement inside of all the current going through it. But when you get higher up, they get warm and they melt. And as you can see, this one has sort of uh, melted a little bit. So I replaced this one with a better one and I moved on to the 60 amp one. This one was bought in America, uh, the other ones were bought in, in China. They seem to be doing the same thing, but I think whether the American ones are any better, they probably come from China and all. But this is a 60 amp. This is the shunt, okay? This is the bit which comes with the higher, higher powered amp meters. The shunt is there to take the excess load and the excess heat through the actual, through the cable where it's going to be measured. And the difference on this one is, with a, with a high powered amp meter, say 60 amps, if you're putting, I don't know, 40 amps through, it's going to get very hot. So, what, what you do, you get a shunt, you put the positive from your solar panels on that side, or your whatever you're coming in with, and your, your other side of it goes straight to your battery bank. Okay, so it's just in between the wiring. And then what you do, you take, you put the positive from the meter on that side, and the other the other connection, negative or whatever you want to call it, onto the other side. And what's doing us measuring between this little bit here. And it's not taking the full load of all the current, so it's not going to get hot. So it's very limited on the amount of current going for it. It's an excellent little way of wiring amp meters. They they give no trouble at all. Uh, I tell you, I put mine like this so I can actually get to the wires. I just decided I I'll put them somewhere I can get to them. And um, and also that's based on on my other system as well. There you have it, amp meters. If you need to know anything else, don't hesitate to give me give me a call on the normal wire connect uh, talking to me send me a message or anything you like and I'll see if I can answer it if I can help if there's somebody else out there who can answer it please answer as well uh, anyone who sticks anything rubbish on my site I'll delete it if you try to sell me something but irrelevant I'll delete it again anyway see you later bye